And so's metabolic pathways are incredibly complex, but you can already orient yourself by way of the citric acid cycle. This pathway takes place within the inner mitochondrial membrane and is responsible for the bulk of the cell's ATP production, either directly or through NADH and FADH2. NADH and FADH2 are then used by enzymes in the electron transport chain to generate a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane. This potential energy is harnessed when protons are allowed to cross back down through the proton gradient via ATP synthase, which in turn harnesses this energy to convert ADP into ADP. Mitochondria are dynamic, semi-autonomous organelles that frequently change shape and divide, as well as fuse with other mitochondria to form complex intracellular networks. While most mitochondrial proteins are encoded in the genomic DNA, mitochondria encode 37 essential genes in their own 16.6 kilobase circular chromosome. The number, shape, and size of mitochondria can vary dynamically in response to the needs of the cell. Most cells have from a few hundred to a few thousand mitochondria, but this number can range from zero in the case of red blood cells to over 100,000 in oocytes. Each mitochondrion, in turn, has two to 10 copies of its own mitochondrial DNA. The electron transport chain requires oxygen as the final electron acceptor, but oxygen is a highly reactive element that can pose a danger to the cell. Oxidative phosphorylation produces hazardous byproducts, such as superoxide, hydrogen peroxide, and other reactive oxygen species that can readily react with and damage biomolecules. However, mitochondria possess quality control mechanisms that trigger removal of damaged mitochondria. Damaged mitochondria not only fail to produce enough ATP, but can also trigger apoptosis through release of cytochrome C. Mitophagy is the highly conserved process of selective degradation of mitochondria via autophagy. How does a mitochondrion sense damage to itself and alert the cell that it should be destroyed? Essentially, mitochondria detect damage by sensing a disruption in the proton gradient. In response, mitochondria modify membrane proteins in a way that triggers autophagy. In order to import proteins into the negatively charged inner mitochondrial membrane, mitochondria take advantage of the positive charge on the mitochondrial targeting sequence. Therefore, protein import also fails when the protein gradient is disrupted, and proteins begin to accumulate on the outer membrane. This can serve as a form of sensor. Mitophagy can be initiated in two ways, via the pink one park independent pathway and the pink one park independent pathway. In healthy mitochondria, Tom and Tim translocate pink one across the inner mitochondrial membrane into the matrix. However, when the gradient is disrupted, pink one begins to accumulate on the outer mitochondrial membrane. Parkin is an E3 ubiquitin ligase that is normally present in the cytosol, albeit in an inactive autoinhibited form. However, the presence of pink one on the surface activates Parkin. Activated Parkin, in turn, begins to ubiquinate proteins on the outer mitochondrial membrane. Adapter proteins such as P62, OPTN, and NDP52 attach to the ubiquitin chains and trigger autophagosome formation through LC3. The phagosphore is a double membrane structure that is recruited to the damaged mitochondrion and undergoes initiation and elongation. After the phagophore completely surrounds the mitochondrion, the edges seal together, forming a mature autophagosome. The autophagosome fuses with a lysosome which in turn releases hydrolases that degrade the organelle for cycling. BNIP3, NIX, and fun bc one can also trigger mitophagy in response to cellular stress in the pink one parkin independent pathway by interacting directly with LC3. Mitochondrial dysfunction is a hallmark of neurodegenerative conditions such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. Juvenile Parkinsonism is associated with mutations in parkin or pink one leading to the death of dopamine-producing neurons in the substantia nigra. In tuberculosis, mycobacterium tuberculosis activates mitophagy through the pink one parking independent pathway by upregulating NICs. In some types of cancer, the number of copies of mitochondrial DNA is reduced, and low copy number is associated with full survival. Cancer cells undergo a shift to aerobic glycolysis, which reduces the pH and triggers autophagy. In the hypoxic microenvironment within tumors, also promotes mitophagy via upregulation of BNIP3. Mitochondrial dysfunction and mitophagy are thought to play pivotal roles in the pathogenesis and potential treatment of liver disease. 
Phytophagy is protective against alcohol-induced mitochondrial dysfunction, hepatic steatosis, and several types of liver injury. Enhancement of mitophagy using quercetin was shown to reduce alcohol-induced damage to mitochondria. Hepatitis B and C viruses exploit mitophagy to promote viral replication and suppress apoptosis in infected cells. While mitophagy may initially suppress development of HCC, it can also accelerate hepatocarcinogenesis. The life of a cell depends greatly on the health of its mitochondria. Healthy mitochondria can dynamically respond to the changing energy needs of a cell, whereas damaged, ineffective mitochondria not only fail to provide enough ATP, but also retain the ability to trigger apoptosis. Mitophagy is a highly regulated mechanism that allows the cell to selectively remove and replace damaged mitochondria. The details of this process are still being worked out, but mitophagy represents a promising target for development of new treatments for neurodegenerative diseases and cancer. Thank you very much.